right, good morning, good morning. Uh, you might be wondering why there's a towel on my shoulder. It's because I'm gonna need it later to shower after my workout. But I am taking you guys through my day. Um, you might be asking, am I vlogging now? I'm not sure. Uh, I wanna give this a try. I feel like, to be honest, this, give me a second. I feel like uh, vlogging is a much better way for me to create content. A lot of times I'm sitting there trying to think about what I should talk about next and I end up ending I end up being blank and not having an idea on what to talk about so I figured if I were to vlog I could come up with ideas and things I'm talking about and you know create content like that uh, if you want to just you see video for informational stuff I'm gonna have a time step every time I do these videos now so I plan on just creating a video once a week and I know I was doing two videos a week. I was doing one on fitness and then one on food. Uh, ended up just being, to be honest, a little too much for me in terms of handling, like creating good quality content in my opinion. Um, and also I felt a little forced to during the, the, the creation of the videos. Um, it wouldn't feel natural to me. So instead i decided to you know what let me start from scratch let's give this variation a try where i just do a video once a week and you might see some food stuff in here you might not but i'm also going to do some educational stuff uh throughout my vlogs as well so once a week it's gonna be a vlog some educational stuff in there and if i feel hungry or if i feel like going out to eat during that vlog uh, like today i might choose a place to eat uh, and you can see some foodie stuff so th those three everything combined into one singular video um, I actually got a train a client right now so these are the things I need to do train a client I uh, gotta work on myself afterwards and then I think I have a little break in between I might do some work on the computer train another client do more work on the computer and then I got a phone call later with Jordan for for business stuff in terms of him helping me grow my business that's what I'm trying to do for 2020 um, continuation from 2019 hope you guys enjoy stay tuned uh, off to train my first client let's get it all right I just finished training my first client of the day uh, now it's about 11 o'clock I'm gonna head over to the gym and it's about a 20 minute drive so you're gonna see me a lot in my car because if you're a trainer in Queens and you're training training privately and you're not at a specific facility most of the time you're driving around to clients houses or you're driving around to the gym facility that I use in a little bit to train another client so um, yeah it's a lot of traveling around all right I uh, just got to the parking lot at the gym facility uh, currently I'm using this place called export uh, it's a 24-hour gym literally open every single day um, that's the facility right there and I'm not here too often because I have one issue with this gym and that that is one issue with this gym is that they have 10 sided plates and 10 sided plates is pretty much near impossible to deadlift not that it's impossible but you can't you can't set the bar down without it being straight and it's very annoying when you try to deadlift a lot of reps and you want to reset it but then you have to reset your body every single time so um, I'm gonna be here usually only one out of four days on my workouts and then um, the other three days I'm actually at the facility where I train my clients and that's where I just have my circular plates but um, I'll show you guys my workout and let's get it Okay, so instead of giving you guys just specific exercise that you guys can do on warm-ups, here's my checklist on what you can do before every single workout. So this is probably what you should be doing before every single workout. And you can find specific exercise that you need to do for that workout routine. Uh, so when it comes to warming up, you want to make sure you warm up your core body temperature and also increase your heart rate so you're out of that resting state. And how you could do this is just do your movement prep, right? So movement prep pretty much means you could do exercises or um, drills that's gonna help you perform the movements that you'll be doing in the gym. 
before that workout right so if you're squatting that day do stuff that's related to squats uh, for me i'm benching and squatting today so you can see me doing some spine work here uh, some cat cow uh, some mobilization to really loosen up my upper body and you can see me here doing some uh, squat toe touches and getting into deep squat uh, just loosen up the hips and ankles and then after this i usually do some core stability work to activate the core because with every workout you're gonna be using your core right to stabilize so i do stuff here such as the squat reach with a plate um and then after all this i'll do my acclimation stuff so acclimation means you just warm up before you actually do your heavy set right you don't just go into the workout uh, putting on the weight that you could do and start that uh, weight right away so you want to acclimate towards that working weight and then from there then you can actually do your workout routine right so uh, hopefully you guys find this helpful um, this is some of the stuff I do like dead bugs great core exercise uh, that you could do and then leads into my workout where I didn't show the acclimation part this is actually my first working set uh, for today and that's my workout for today I hope that you found that warm-up helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Just finished working out. Uh, to be honest, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be uh, because I actually worked out yesterday and I usually give myself a day of break in between my heavier lifts, which was the last week's fourth day, which was the last day of my workout of the week before I actually start my new week. But you know, I decided to just get it done so I get back on my regular schedule of working out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday take off, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday take off. So I got about got about an hour right now for my next client. Um, so I'm actually gonna head over. I believe I'm gonna get some Chipotle, and I'm gonna show you guys what I get and how you can actually still I can actually still um, pick something that is. So I'm actually going to head over to Chipotle right now. Oop. So I'm actually going to head over to Chipotle right now and I'm going to get some takeout uh, and some fast food because I don't have time to head home to make food. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I get because you can still have good options and good choices as long as you make the right choices at fast food restaurants. So I'm going to head over to Chipotle. I'm going to show you guys what I get. What I recommend is if you're getting a burrito, getting a bowl, um, if you're cutting actually, for most people, they're cutting, they're trying to lose weight. Um, out of getting the burrito, it's gonna save you probably like a couple, like 50 to I'll say 150 calories. And don't get the guac, um, don't get the cheese, don't get the queso. That's all the extra calories you can get from the toppings on the burrito or on the bowl. Instead, just keep it simple. Get your rice, get your beans, get your meat. Uh, use the Cholula hot sauce if you want some flavoring. But if you gotta add queso, you gotta add guac and you got cheese that's easily like maybe three to four hundred calories into your meal so try to avoid those things uh, maybe even avoid koi if you're really strict on your calories but that's what i recommend when you come in here to okay, so i'll just answer a question that i got on uh, instagram someone was asking me i put up a poll yesterday on a questionnaire yesterday and someone was asking me if they're doing intermittent fasting should they eat uh, before their workout right so usually you'll have the first meal around like 12 p.m so it depends when you do your intermittent fasting sometimes you do it 14 hours sometimes you do it 16 hours my recommendation for people who are doing intermittent fasting is have your meals when it's convenient for you that's one intermittent fasting um, it's actually narrow down your eating window so you eat less and you don't eat as much and also if you're busy you, know, you want to kind of just don't think about food as much and just have maybe one or two meals a day um, but if you're lifting and you're intermittent fasting you can still lift and intermittent fast but if you're lifting heavy weights and you have like a hard training session and your workouts can be longer um, i recommend having something prior um, or plan your meals post and uh, pre-workout so have a big meal before your workout and have a second meal after uh, your workout so you can get most of the nutrients you 
before your workout so you have the energy to it and also after your workout to recover. Um, so that's my recommendation when it comes to the fasting. I, I forgot how much calories that, that was in the burrito wrap. It's actually 300 calories. So if you're cutting, if you're trying to lose weight uh, for the new year and you're heading to Chipotle, it's probably a good idea to skip the burrito wrap and just go for the bowl and it'll probably reduce your calories by a lot, a lot. So that's already a reduction of 300, like 20 calories, I believe. And that'll bring you down to probably like 600 calories for that meal, which is a lot better than like close to a thousand. But if you're having you know a lighter dinner or a lighter meal afterwards uh, you could have that burrito you just gotta make sure you work around the numbers and fit into your caloric goals all right so uh, with that being said i'm actually gonna head over to train my client right now and i'll catch you guys later and finish off this vlog i guess because i don't want to make this too long so all right i'll catch you guys in a little bit all right so we're back at home uh, finished up training my last client for the day. Now I actually have to do some work on the computer. I gotta actually create some exercise videos for the exercise library that I'm trying to create. So I'm gonna get onto that before I get on this call later at seven o'clock. So I got about a good two and a half hours. Um, so let's get to work on that. I know the room is pink and the bed sheets are purple, but it's not my choice, right, guys? It's not my choice. Workout is a metabolic workout. If we really want to get nitty gritty with it, right? Like right, every right. workout is like going to increase your metabolism. Right. And for me, for me, the way that I do this stuff is I'm like, listen, I would rather get give people what they want in order for them to get what they need, mm -hmm. rather than not get them what they need at all. Okay, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with the name. The main, the name is definitely fine with me. I mean, um, yeah, I guess I just probably overthinking things, <laughs> uh, which I yeah, shouldn't I be think, doing. I think, <laughs> I think you're worried about other coaches criticizing you, yeah, rather than like the people who are going to be helpful. So All right, so I just finished getting off the call with Jordan. Um, it's a great call as usual. I uh, got some great tips from him on what I should be doing moving forward from today. These videos for me are a bit more natural to do. That way I can just create better content to be honest and I feel like I could create more quality content and instead of just putting out two videos a week, which eventually I just fell off of doing. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe down below for more future content and Give me a big thumbs up because it's going to help the algorithm. It's going to help this video. And stay tuned. There's going to be more videos like these. Let me know what you want to see down below in terms of educational portion within this video. Also, if you have any questions about like, hey, if you'd like to see my process right now in terms of how I'm preparing for this powerlifting meet or any other questions that you'd like to have me answer, just comment down below and I'll answer it in the future vlog. All right. Hope you guys. Stay tuned because there's more to come, I promise you.